Okay, before my, I start my review of Pandorum, uh, I have to say right here, this is the start of October, Halloween month, pretty much. So that means I'm going to do Halloween-related horror movie reviews, pretty much. So this is going to be my first one. Pandorum is a horror, sci-fi movie, whatever. It's still the same. Sci-fi and horror go together with Halloween. Come on. Anyway, yeah, so this is my first review. I just want to tell you, it's not going to be 31 movies like I did last time, because that one was chaotic. I had to watch movies. I had to dig up ones I haven't reviewed before. I did movies that aren't even horror movies, technically. I think I did a freaking... Nah, I don't know. It was a sci-fi movie I did last time. I think I did Cloverfield, too, which is kind of horish a little bit. It's That doesn't even sound right. Horish. Uh, horrorish. Uh, but, you know, it's still more sci-fi. So, anyway, I enjoy the Pandorum review. Tomorrow I might do Zombieland. And then, uh, uh, you know, I don't want to tell you the other one. Anyway, thanks and enjoy the review. Okay, here is the review for Pandorum. Now, Pandorum is a movie that I've actually been waiting for since it was announced because, I, I mean, I saw this trailer right here. I mean, this, I'm sorry, this poster I saw. And then I saw another one when he's ripping his skin off and stuff. I was like, what the hell? And I was like, damn, that looks creepy. All right, and then I saw the trailer, and I'm like, okay, it looks kind of like Dead Space, Event Horizon, and it's the maker from uh, Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. So I was like... Okay, I kind of lost a little bit of hope, but I was still, like, anticipating it, because I wanted to see all the screwed up shit that was on these posters. Well, I, I guess I have to admit that I was surprised that it didn't have almost any of that. It had some blood and stuff, and it had some cool creature effects. To me, I think they were cool. Some people were like, oh, it looks stupid. Some people were laughing at me, like, oh, huh, huh. I went to the theaters, it was like 500 people, and they, uh, I think two walked out, because I didn't see them come back. I mean, you have to really, like, you really have to like not pay attention to notice that one person out of five left. I mean, come on, or two person pr people out of five, not counting me. Anyway, yeah. So what did I think of Pandorum? Well, listen to the review to find out. Okay, seeing that that was a really long intro and the beginning thing didn't really help, I'm going to just say pretty much that the story is good. Okay. It has two guys, they wake up, they go, oh my god, we're on a ship, uh, I can't remember stuff, and pretty much the story picks up from there, and you, you find other survivors, some survivors die, some, some uh, you know, people obviously die, some people uh, are found dead, some people are uh, stupid, some people are crazy, some people eat other people, it's, it's crazy, it is crazy. Okay, so yeah, the story's good, and I have to admit right here, the two twists that are in this movie, Took me by surprise, all right. It took me like, oh my god, what the hell? Really? Okay. Also, uh, Dennis Quaid and Ben Foster star in this movie, but I'll go back, go more into that in acting. Okay, now the acting in this movie is actually really good. I was surprised because that Dennis Quaid, Dennis Quaid haven't, hasn't been good since actually a movie. It's a football movie called The Express that came out about a year ago. Uh, it was a, a story of uh, fuck, I forgot his name. Uh, shit. Well, anyway, he, he played the coach, and he was really good in that, but G.I. Joe and uh, fucking uh, this movie called The Horseman, which I had the displeasure of seeing. Very boring fucking movie. Uh, he was bad in that also. And, and well, I, just, I was just thinking, like, Dennis Quaid, I'd heard, was an asshole, too, but he did really good in this. But the star performance in this, of course, is Ben Foster. If you don't know who Ben Foster is, he's pretty much the creepy. He's a stranger in 30 Days of Night. He was the guy that beats everybody fucking up in uh, Alpha Dog. He's pretty much a strange. He's kind of like he's the you know this is not this is how you know he's good. He stole the performance away from. He stole the like the you know like the oh my god he's cool uh, credit from uh, 310 to Yuma. If you ever saw that movie, I love that freaking movie. He stole it from Russell Crowe, okay? Because he was he was just like menacing and he was like the guy looking for Russell Crowe because you know he was his leader so. They can't really go far without the leader. But he led that group pretty freaking good, so he could have been the leader and said, screw Russell Crowe. Uh, he was pretty uh, he was pretty disturbing in that movie. He was like, all right, you're going to help me. All right, where'd they go? He went over there. I'm going to put the whole fucking thing on fire and let, let you burn to death. There you go. Happy. Anyway, yeah, the acting was really fucking good. And this one, he's not as creepy, but there's parts where he like starts twitching out and shit because Pandorum is like this um, this space the space fear thing where you go like I've been it's kind of like it's kind of a little bit like car sickness you know how like you've been in a car for so long you just get sick and this you've been in a freaking spacecraft or like one of those uh, pods that 
froze you for in the hyper uh, hyper sleep for a little while. After that, then it starts like going, "Oh, I'm grr, Pandorum's kicking in. I can't breathe. I'm dumb." Like all that stuff. You know, he would, he just started seeing things. Yeah, so I know that I made that confusing, but the acting was really good. Let me go on to the violence because this is a horror movie. So yeah. Okay, now the violence in this movie is actually pretty, it's well done, to be honest. Okay, there's not gore like fucking, oh my god, some guy's guts. I don't think that we ever see some guy's guts once. We see like throat slashings, we see uh, them pummel a fucking mutant to death. Uh, because, you know, they're mutants in this. Uh, watch the trailer if you want to see what they kind of look like. I don't think you'll be able to see them, but very good. Alright, there's like uh, throat slashings that, you know, pummel the fucking guy to death. There's a... Uh, uh, fuck, it is needle, needle to eye, uh, there's a, ah, man, I forgot all the gore, but there was blood, alright, it definitely is an R-rated movie, there's cursing, there's pretty screwed up elements in it, uh, so yeah, oh, there was a little, there's a little, uh, fucking baby who th slashes the throat, that's what's even more screwed up, <laughs> it's like a little baby mutant, he looks all cute, he's like, oh, I don't want to kill you, slit me. Uh, my blood, I want it back. Anyway, yeah, I know. Anyway, yeah. So the violence was actually really good. It, it, it was uh not too corny. It was pretty fucking realistic, to be honest. It was no, like, fucking arms getting ripped off or anything. So, yeah, I actually liked it like that. I like it like that. And it does get a little creepy at, at times because, you know, it's all dark and shit. And sometimes they're in tight little spaces and stuff. So, yeah, it does get a little creepy sometimes. So let's go on to uh, the final tally for much. Okay, now the final verdict or the final tally for this movie is that it's really good. I definitely recommend people seeing it. If you like Event Horizon, then you'll like this movie. It's not as bloody as Event Horizon, but I mean it has better twists than Event Horizon. And the Pandorum thing and stuff, you know, like you, you just like see things and stuff. Well, he does, the character in this. He's you don't you, you don't really see much of him going, ur, ur, I see things, but there's like some screwed up shit like a... Uh, Dennis Quaid rescues some guy out of, like, some little tunnel thing filled with, like, tubes. Which reminds me a lot of that, uh, poster, pretty much, with all the tubes going in his eyes and stuff. So, yeah, the movie was really good. I'd say it's entertaining, and it's only about an hour and 40 minutes, so you'll definitely don't, you won't go, oh my god, it's going too long. I really thought it was a good movie. Overall, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. Definitely go check it out, and, yeah, that starts my, uh, Horror Movie Month, uh, go check out tomorrow's review, probably Zombieland, I'm not sure, but if I'll see it tomorrow, but if not, then I'll have another review, like I said in the intro, I won't tell you what it is, but that's, you know, that's just another story also, anyway, yeah, there, there you go, thank you, and bye.